How's it hang loose? Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. <laughs> it's working. The little OBS process. Okay, well, um, and put this off the distance because oh, the is too loud. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I don't know. I think it's far enough we don't have to hear it. And those two going on so we can hear from the, what the afterlife thinks about this all this stuff how's it it's uh <clears throat> april the 30th i mean yeah it's tuesday and it's the end of april pretty much and gonna be may 1st pretty soon may 1st may day may day is lady in hawaii it's actually a pretty international devil, devil <laughs> says this it's a pretty international celebration. We used to learn this stuff. Uh, I mean, May Day was big when I was in elementary school. So the fifth graders would play those recorders. I have one of these recorders somewhere. It's like a little book. Here it is right here. The, 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 the fifth graders would play recorders. Dislike. Dislike, that's right. Imagine hundreds of fifth graders playing these, trying to play in unison. Maybe. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the sixth graders got to play ukuleles. And then there was dancing and the, there was a, it was a production. And uh, it's also just a big thing in Hawaii. So anyways, May Day, May 1st. I'm just stalling to like, I, you know, okay, today, I get my. T I have a tooth appointment with the dentist. He's gonna glue the thing on. <laughs> it came off because I was chewing on these hard candy things. <laughs> Good burning cow. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm all distracted. So I was looking at this uh, uh, news. That's the vlog. Now the news. The news of the world. I mean, just anywhere in news. There's uh, the Stormy Daniels, Dan Daniels, Daniels channels, Daniel, Stormy Daniel. The she was the uh, I don't know uh, adult uh, entertainer. <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was she was hired on by Trump in a, a kind of like you know sex for money kind of deal. But I mean, um, okay, so let me get this straight. The National Enquirer, that magazine, Inquiring Minds Want to Know. Everybody's seen the National Enquirer because it had such outrageous, like, aliens and and the monkey ran for president. Hey, let's go on. And, and you know, it's like a, you know, in, in the National Enquirer. We were kids, we knew what that was. So it gets a story. It pays for uh, trash stories dirt on people so it pays for that and one of these dirt stories was the president has an affair i mean his wife is pregnant he's married he's running for the presidency of the united states and he's involved with um somebody in the adult profession you know it's like uh what so it would have been a big big story now national Enquirer, you know is it true but everyone would have been paying attention and they would have looked into it and they found out that's actually happening and uh it could sink his election in 2016 he never would have been president so now in the capture Paying for that story and paying for the rights and then squashing it because nobody else can publish it now, right? Because they own the rights to it. So paying for that, right? That's the big connection. Because if they didn't squash the story, he may have not won, you know, not have gotten votes. Because you have to get a lot of votes from the religious right, which is questionable now. But that's a big group voting block the vote have been like we can't have an adulterer you know, scarlet letter a oh, adulterer. so um they may not have voted for him he may not have been president so that's the big thing so when they did this type of thing for 
during a presidential election. Those are like up there. If it was another election, it would be like, yeah, so what? <laughs> Getting the boat, they're all trash, corrupt. But presidential election. If they did that, then it can be considered interfering with the voting process for a fair election, thereby it's a, it would be illegal under the Voting, voting uh, uh, protection, protection Act or the, or the election, election protection, protection, whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's illegal on something with the elections. So that part is what they have to prove what they're trying to get to in the trials right now. I mean, it's not that he, he signed, uh, yeah, he did uh, do election fraud. I mean, business fraud in the city of New York. So business fraud, he has a check, he signs his name to it, he says it's for lawyers, but it's not for lawyers, it's actually for that, so that's a fraud. So him signing the checks, doing the fraud thing is a slam dunk, because he got... 638! It's 630! <laughs> he got checks with his name on it, that's slam dunk, so yeah, guilty there. Comfortable. But if he's guilty there, and it's connected to election tampering then it's felony that oh, oh. and then it's like how many counts of that <laughs> so, can you hear it so there's that so they're uh, interviewing or witnessing the uh, stormy daniels ex-lawyer uh this and that and then the pecker guy <laughs> can't, can't believe the guy. national inquirer the, mr pecker <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. So, anyways, that's what, that's why that's like all. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Oh God. I have to think about this stuff. Look, Hawaii news. Yeah, we got news too. See, we got stuff going on in Hawaii. <laughs> let's 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 see what it is. Do I do I? Hidden? Hidden until I push this button. Hawaii news. Ooh, lawsuit gets underway. Now over here in Hawaii, there's the Red Hill crisis where the, where the Navy, uh, their, their big vat of um, millions and millions of gallons of jet fuel contaminated the aquifer to a degree. Enough of a degree, we've got a bunch of people sick. Now these people that got sick are like trying to sue <laughs> the Navy. Because it's like, obviously, yeah, they did it but they're trying to get paid and they're having lawyers going oh come on yeah come on come on come on so the there's always oh, a class action awesome lawsuit the emergency was overblown see they're, they're trying to downplay it it's like post spin doctoring oh what are you talking about it was just a little dirty and these kids are like developing cancer Ah, uh, rainy day, boo, 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 aim to enlarge rainy day. This big rainy day fun thing, I, uh, I don't know. Gotta watch out with the state government here. When they get a bunch of money in one pile, they tend to not do what they say they were gonna do. And in sports, it's Wahini Water Polo. They're the new, um, uh, what do you call it? Heroes to be focusing on. And golf which we are not going to focus on you know, just, uh, just uh, relax relax gotta calm down with all this news and you know, just think of think of back in the day remember back in the day in 1990 where uh you want to relax just go outside and try to light the hibachi that's on the pole <laughs> it's on the tiki pole it's the tiki hibachi <laughs> this is the office of hawaiian affairs trustee tommy uh kaolu Kukui, former UH star athlete, lights the flame of the Waikiki shell to officially start the inaugural Aloha State Games. So they're like Olympicking out with the um, Aloha State Games. As an athlete, so we can do Olympics too. <laughs> we got we, we got torches. Ah, uh, you know, hey, easy. How about just uh, oh god, the, the protests. I can't stand these protests anymore. I mean, they're just all like all, uh, can't, can't get into it. Yeah, killing civilians is wrong, but the terrorists hide behind the civilians, so you got a problem. 
and they're like, Palestinians, the poor Palestinians. <laughs> okay, um, the political cartoon. Uh, so at South Dakota Governor Christy Nome's home. Oh, here she is, right here. I, 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 I don't get. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know that story. So whatever. <laughs> okay, what should we look at here? Cause a ceasefire. Trump level-headed on Medicare and Social Security. Ukraine options. Uh, rental bill forces. Let's just do this one. Focus on homelessness. Legal cannabis can wait. The state legislature was considering legalizing recreational marijuana cannabis this session, even though homelessness is still a big problem in Hawaii. The major the bells of state. The bells, the bells. My God, it's the bells. The major causes of homelessness are family violence, substance addiction mental slash physical health conditions, trauma, limited housing opportunities, and lack of adequate employment. What do you think will happen if legislation like Senate Bill 3335 gets passed? More people might go into debt and homelessness will rise. We see so many homeless people because many won't follow shelter rules. Let's not worry about legalizing cannabis for adult use and instead... I can hear you. Okay. Instead, shift our focus to homelessness. Lini Marie Loa Wayanai. Oh, thank you. Um, Lini? Lini Marie? Lini, thank you, Lini. Um, I reached your name. <coughs> yeah, that's kind of like one of these maneuverings, though. I'm, I'm looking at this. I mean, whatever you think about <laughs> either either issue of uh, legislation. I mean, the cannabis one is solvable. That you can either do it or not do it or fix it and have your like thing going on. The homelessness is a situational thing. And you can't just focus on it and you're going to solve it. It's, it's like the immigration problem. It's going to be there in some capacity. So you can't. Uh, oh, before we do this over here, we have to focus on that, which is not really solvable completely. So you'll never solve that and you'll never get to that. And that's uh, how they do stuff. Anyways. Whatever. <laughs> I pray everything will be okay. Okay. Well, that's it for today. I got your new tooth friend. Glue a tooth. Um, um, uh, uh, so, aloha for today. It's Tuesday. It was nice out. Yeah? It's going to be nice, I think. It's going to be nice. Gonna be... But anyways, aloha. Oh, look. look. Aloha. It's going to be a nice day. Good day. Aloha to you. Aloha to you.